Okay, quick tutorial. So let's import our model. You can delete all of this. To import, you can either select the DAA or FBX, depending on which format your model is in. Go and find which model you want to use. Player 02 will be your female model, player 03 will be your male model. I'll use the male model for this. And we're going to notice if we go to this view, it's going to look quite fucked up. Easily fixable by going to the material settings and in settings over here, you'll see opaque. Just do that for every single mesh. So now that we've done that, you're going to notice that if I hide the armature, we've got a lot of mouths here. Now I'm going to be honest, unless you want to somehow toggle expressions by doing some sort of magic, um, you're not going to want most of these. So probably won't need from here all the way to here. You can just delete that. So that leaves us with the outside of our mouth, the inside of our mouth, and our teeth. They look a little bit fucked up like this. It's okay. We don't worry about texturing and blender. Unless you want to be like that, but I personally do not care. They're all separated, oddly. We're going to combine these and attach them to the face mesh. So, we're going to attach the inside of the mouth to the mouth. And we're going to hold Control and hit J. This joins them. Now, we can select our new base mesh and then control, click on that whole head and do the same thing. Hold control and do J. Now I advise to leave the teeth until after what we're about to do because it may screw up a few things. So now that we've done that, technically they're not properly attached in the seams here. And while you'll not be able to notice it, it's best that we do this little trick to make sure that they're properly attached polygon by polygon. So, we got this here. We go to edit mode. All of it should be selected. We go to mesh, merge, then by distance. And uh, it should already be set to a really small number. If not, copy this number. Fantastic. You can just click off that, click back in object mode, and you're fantastic, you're doing good. Now we can attach the teeth. So click on tooth, hold control, and click on your head model. Now we can just do control J. Fantastic. You now have one solid head. And to make sure that everything works, we can re-enable the viewing our armature. Click on the bones and go to pose mode. Again, we're just making sure that this works. So this is our jawbone. So to open it, just make sure everything works. And it does. Fantastic. So to reset that, you can hold Alt and then click on R for rotation. Now, to make visemes. It's a very, very easy process. So again, click on the bones. Go back to pose mode and we just start posing. For example, if I were to make an E sort of noise, do this. Move these a little bit out. Who knows, maybe raise them a little bit, raise our cheeks. Just get it to look however you'd like. Then afterwards, we can go back to object mode. We click on our face here. And we click on the little wrench to view our modifiers. You can ignore everything here. I just want you to click on this little arrow and then save as shape key. So this is how we make blend shapes. Once we've done that, we can go down to our little vertex menu and you're going to see a shape key called armature. You can double click that and rename it to whatever you'd like. Now what? We're left with our model stuck like this. Easy. We click on the bones again, go back to pose mode. We can either select all from here, or you can just hit A on your keyboard. 
and to reset it all, we hold Alt and then hit R to clear the rotation, S to clear the scaling if you've done that, and G to uh, reset uh, the grab if you've grabbed any of them. Fantastic! So that's one visine and you can preview it by using the slider here. And now you just do that for the rest of your model. So if we wanted to make like an O, we click on our bones again, go back to pose, we can open our jaw a little bit. I'm thinking more of an O sound, so we can select both of these bones by holding shift. Move them down, move them out a bit, maybe move them in. I like to lower the eyelids a little bit so that it looks like you're stretching your whole face. But again, it all depends on what you want to do. Oopsies. And then if we hide it, it looks like we're making ooh sound. So, once we've made the face shape that we want, we can just go back to object mode, click on our face mesh, Go back to the modifier menu, the little blue wrench, click on this menu, save a shape key. You can now go to object data properties and rename this to whatever visine that you'll remember. And again, to reset your pose, click on the bones, go back to pose mode. You can hit A or you can just go up here and select all. And then again, hold alt, click. R on your keyboard, S, and G. That's completely reset everything. Again, we can hide our armature to see things a bit better. And then preview what it looks like. And that's it! That's how you that's how you make visemes using bones of your armature. Once you've made as many blend shapes as you think you'll need, we also need to make one for just when the mouth is closed. Now that's, again, really easy to do. It's just that the basis over here doesn't carry over to when you export it. So we basically just need to make this again. So if you've already reset your armature, you just click on the face, click on the wrench, save a shape key, and then you can name this one Sill. They don't have to be exact as to what VRChat uses. It's just so that you know what you're using. So, Sill means silence. So, we know that this one just means mouth is shut. So, once we've done that, we can export our model. Now that we're in Unity, we can simply drag our model in. It may be really tiny if you have not scaled it up in Blender, so around 30 to 40 ish is a good scale. You're gonna see it's untextured, that's fine. Again, drag your textures in, blah blah blah, whatever. I'm not gonna bother texturing much or doing whatever because this is just an example of how to add visings. So, we're gonna want to add our avatar descriptor. And this is where you're gonna do it. So, if we go to lip sync, and you'll see mode. It will be set to default, but we want to change things, obviously. So we can go to Visine Blend Shape. So then we select our face mesh. And if you named it some stuff, it will automatically sometimes do it. But if not, uh, this is it will be empty. Now, this actually uses um, the Oculus uh, Visine references. VRChat also has like a reference thing, but it's based on what the Oculus uses. So you're going to find a whole list here of examples of what things the visings look like. And this might help you 
and pick, you know, what blend shape looks like what. Hoof and, you know, P's and F's, it looked quite similar if you were to m make the, like, the shape of your mouth like that. TH might look a little bit like an, a CH, like, you, you, it looks quite similar. Just do whatever you think suits you. R, I usually say it to like similar to an O. It, it, it looks similar. I usually get really stumped when it comes to these two because you think it's going to be E and E, but it's actually the opposite. It's E, E. So you want to do this one as an, more of an open mouth thing. If you've made an E blend shape, that's good. But um, if you have an E one, you want to make sure that the IH one has the more E look. So then you go O, oh, and then you go O, and there you go. That's how you set up Visine blend shapes. All right, once you're done with that, click OK and open up VRChat. Okay, now that we have VRChat open, we can just go to our avatars, go to Uploaded, and select the one that we've uploaded. If I turn my mic on, you can see that my mouth moves. So if we go E, E, A, and there you go. That's how you make um, visemes. Hope this helps.